Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today the topic we are going to discuss is the human brain. Brain is the central organ of the human nervous system and with the spinal cord makes up the central nervous system. Today we are going to discuss what is human brain, what are the different parts of the human brain and also their function. What is the brain? The brain is the command center of the body like a supercomputer controlling everything we do, we think and we feel. It's made up of billion of tiny cells called neurons that communicate with each other using electrical signals. The brain is responsible for who we are and how we think and what we feel. Brain is the complex organ that control our thoughts, our memory, our emotion. Parts of brain Human brain is divided into three main parts on the basis of their functions and placement. The three main parts of human brains are first one is the forebrain, second one is midbrain and the third one is hindbrain. Forebrain Forebrain its position is it is the interior part of the brain. It has three parts cerebrum, thalamus and the limbic system. Forebrain is also called the most recently developed portion of our brain. The first part is thalamus position. It is located above the brain stem and between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain. And its function, it carries sensory information from the body to cerebrum and limbic system. Hypothalamus and pituitary gland. Pituitary gland, it is a P-shaped structure. Function, it is very important in growth and reproduction. And the hypothalamus. It lies under the thalamus and its function are it connects the nervous system with the endocrine system via pituitary glands. These diagrams shows hypothalamus and pituitary gland location. Next part is limbic system. It is arc shaped structure between thalamus and cerebrum. Their function are it controls responses like hunger, fear, thrust, anger, and sexual responses. Now what is cerebrum? It is divided into two halves called cerebral hemisphere. Cerebral functions are, it helps in movement, it controls speech. It is responsible for sensory processing, it determines the intelligence. Midbrain. It is located below the cerebral cortex and above the hindbrain. Function of midbrain are it controls the reflex movement of the body and hearing reflexes. Hindbrain Its position is it is present at the back side of the brain. Function it controls the balance of the body and coordinates the voluntary movements of the body. It controls sleep and breathing. It also controls heart rate, swallowing, and blood circulation. The different parts of the brain. Different parts of the brain have specific jobs, allowing us to think, feel, move, emotions, and take care of vital functions like breathing and heart rate. We will focus on three parts: prefrontal cortex, amygdala, and the hippocampus. Prefrontal cortex is a front part of the brain responsible for thinking, decisions and emotions. It helps us remember things, focus and control impulses. When we learn new things, the prefrontal cortex changes its connections between the brain cells to adapt. Prefrontal cortex, the wise owl, significance. Just like the wise owl, the prefrontal cortex is the smart decision maker of our brain. It helps us to think, plan, and make wise choice. It's responsible for higher order cognitive functions like an owl sharp intellect. Question 1 What does the prefrontal cortex mainly help you with? And the first option is feeling and expressing emotions. Option B making important decisions and thinking smartly. Option C remembering. Where you put your things? 
and the right answer is B making important decisions and thinking smartly now moving on next question how does the prefrontal cortex contribute to your learning abilities it helps you to remember your favorite song it allows you to adopt and learn new things it controls your taste bud so you enjoy different food and the right answer is b it allows you to adapt and learn new things as you grow moving on next amygdala the amygdala is an almond shaped brain structure in the temporal lobes it deals with emotions especially fear and is vital for memory and motivation as part of the limbic system the amygdala is like the guard dog significance the amygdala acts like a guard dog always vigilant and alert to potential threats like a guard dog reacts quickly to protect its territory the amygdala is responsible for processing emotions particularly fear and strong emotions it helps us respond to dangerous emotion situation now moving on next question the amygdala helps you with remembering facts for a test controlling your body movements dealing with strong emotions like fear and excitement and the answer is that amygdala helps you with dealing with strong emotions like fear and excitement moving on next question which animal analogy represents the significance of the amygdala a friendly puppy that makes you happy a wise owl that helps you make decisions a guard dog that protects you from danger and the right answer of which animal analogy represents the significance of the amygdala is option c a guard dog that protects you from any danger moving on next hippocampus the hippocampus is sea horse shaped in brain's temporal lobes it's crucial for learning memory and converting short term memory to long term memories moving on next hippocampus the memory elephant significance the hippocampus is like a memory elephant because it's crucial for learning and memory just like how elephants have an excellent memory and can remember locations and experience for a long time the hippocampus help us form and consolidate long term memories now question 1 is why is the hippocampus essential for your daily life option a it keeps your heart beating and keeps your lungs breathing option b it helps you find your way around your neighborhood option c it let you learn new things and new remembering for the future and the right answer is that why is the hippocampus essential for your daily life and the right answer is option c it let you learn new things and remembering them for the future conclusions these three brain parts work together like a team the amygdala tells the prefrontal cortex when we feel strong emotions and then the prefrontal cortex decides how to respond the hippocampus help us remember how we felt and what happened so we can learn from our experiences conclusion sometimes the amygdala might react too strongly making us feel scared or anxious even when there's no real danger but then the prefrontal cortex can step in and calm down the amygdala remembering us everything is okay on the other hand when we face challenges the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus work hard to help us find the best solutions and remember and remember what we have learned so these brain parts are like a dream team that keeps us safe and help us learn and allows us to handle our emotions and decisions in the best way possible so it's all about the human brain functions hope you like this video for more videos kindly subscribe to my channel